there's just nothing like GPS rugby that I've experienced in Queensland and you know, even Australia. <laughs> So these schools have been playing for, you know, 100 years. The competitive rivalry is huge. And what it's developed into since the rise of professional rugby in 1996 is just the melting pot for all the best talent in Queensland rugby. It all gets funneled into this one competition. So you go out each week and you see these incredible performances from your know, athletes that are just you know, seemingly destined to go pro. Oh. 2012 was really the catalyst for it was really the catalyst for the entire development of it because since 1996 importing as it's been called colloquially is has been run by a couple of schools who've generally had an unopposed run to the GPS premiership every year in 2012 that all changed Sam Green um, Jack Cornelson Cody Blackhurst Josh Birch all these star players somehow found themselves at Brisbane Grammar and they really threw the gate off the competition. They really set the arms race alight. Other schools sat up and took notice of Brisbane Grammar as a school is, you know, had a couple of premierships in the 80s, you know, a mix of success here and there, you know, but they've never been a dominant rugby school. Well, Sam's competition, the fly half position in 2012, you know, there were some really quality players coming out of the GPS at that point in time. James Dalgleish from Gregory Terrace, I mean, those two shared a rivalry the entire way through. I mean, those two really pushed each other to get to where they are today. So from Churchy, Darcy Eason, who's, you know, involved in the Brumbies Academy now, is knocking on the door for the Brumbies NRC team, the Vikings. And then from Southport, you had Mitch Third and Ed Gibson, you know, two players that are consistent Premier Rugby starters now. And so that competition's really continued on, you know, past school. I mean, half these guys are in Premier Rugby clubs now. The entire 2012 fly half class, you know, has made a Premier Rugby debut at some point since 2012. So when the class of 2012 moved into the Premier Rugby landscape, you know, they were already competing against some really established names like Matt Brand from East, Dion Tomata from, from Bond, and Stefano Hunt from, from Jeeps. So then when you add the final pieces of the fly-off puzzle in Queensland rugby, you've got Jake McIntyre who made his Reds debut this year, came coming in from northern New South Wales, playing at Sunnybank. And then when you have Duncan Payer as well, who's the Broncos under-20s, 5'8", who was brought in specifically to be, you know, the answer to the Reds' future fly-off backup issues, and it's a perfect storm.
So if you want to talk about the end result of the JPS, I mean, you can't look past the fact that of the 26 Queensland Reds that are actually from Queensland, 23 of them have come through the GPS system. So the 2011 era of Queensland rugby is fast closing. The squad, you know, the champion squad with Will Genia, James Hall, potentially Quade Cooper as well, you know, that trio was the heart and soul of the Reds team for so many years now and then potentially all three of them will be gone at the end of the year. If Quade Cooper does leave, that leaves a gaping hole in the heart of Queensland rugby's fly half stocks. When Quade is there, the only competition there is, is who's going to be his backup week to week. They say it's always darkest before the dawn, but if you look deeper into Queensland Premier Rugby, I mean, the next generation is already staking their claim. The fly half that leads their team to the Premiership in 2015 is going to throw their name at the very top of that list going forward. Do I? 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 Do I?